right, so I'm going to be installing Vagtaco now, and then we're going to program a key for a Mark 6 TDI. First thing I'm going to do is on C drive, I'm going to create a new folder and call it Vagtaco. And then I'm going to press Windows key, open up Windows Defender. I'm going to go to Virus and Threat Protection. And I'm going to go to Virus Threat Protection Settings. I'm going to scroll down to Exclusions. I'm going to add an exclusion folder. Go to C Drive. And then we're going to select that new folder we called Bag Taco. If you don't want to do this with your own computer, you can rent a computer from us. All right, now that that's done, we're going to go to opalmo.com. Okay. All right, that website will redirect to maltchev.com slash kitty. I'm going to go to download software. You're going to download. And then this is the password right here. It says Google no more. We're going to click on that zip file. going to extract to our new folder which is under C drive by taco press OK and now you're going to type Google no more we're done there to opalmo.com going to go to the bag taco folder And we're going to open up the program called Bag Taco. We're going to press more info. Run anyway. It says interface not found. This is the point when you plug the USB into the computer. All right. It says interface connected. We're going for this car, I'm going to select ECU. There's different options it could be. I'm going to start with V1, V2 under VDO. Connect selected ECU. This key right here, this key, if you save it, you can program another key for your car someday if you lose all your keys. If you lose all your keys and you don't have this key, you got to go to the dealer. You don't have an option. So this read pin, you do not need to press that on Mark 5 and 6 cars. That pin number is for changing out the cluster or the engine computer and we don't provide any support for doing that. Do not rent this tool from us. If you want to do that, we're not going to be able to help you. So I'm going to go to press program new key. Um, if I wanted to erase all old keys, like if I lost one, I was worried about somebody stealing the car, I would erase all old keys, but that's not what we're doing right now. So right now I'm going to pull the key from the car. I'm going to put in a new key. I'm going to press continue. And I'm going to press program new key again. Continue. All right, it's done. Um, so the immobilizer program portion is done. Now the car will start. No issues, no flashing lights on the dash. But if you press a button for lock, unlock on a Mark 5, 6, 7, it's not going to work until you program the wireless entry. You can use Rostec VCDS to program wireless entry if the car does not have push to start. If it has push to start, your car has something called a Kessie system, I can't help you. Alright, so now we're going to use Rostec VCDS and we're going to program wireless entry. Doesn't matter which key you have in the car right now. 
So I'm going to go to number nine, Central Electric. And this is applicable from 2009 and newer. And I'm going to go to adaptation. I'm going to press read and I'm going to save. What that does is it's wiping out everything it remembers. We're going to start new. We're going to go to remote control adaptations. It says value zero. I can't change that in this software of this car. Sometimes it's going to say stored value zero or one or two or three. If it already says zero, leave it alone press test save yes press a button on one of your remotes if you won't have another remote that you want to program go ahead and press read test save yes now push a button on your other remote the lights will flash on your cluster your remotes are programmed now we're going to test them Both keys are working. Hope this video was helpful. We rent both tools, VCDS and VagTaco, on our website, tunemyuro.com. I'm Andrew Rodriguez. Have a great day.